Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about governance and Unity Catalog. Now, there is no better place to understand Unity Catalog other than Databricks website. So, today we are going to use this page for our reference. We are going to discuss Unity Catalog in detail and we are going to understand how Unity Catalog provides a unified governance in Databricks. Before that, if you have not seen our previous videos, I would recommend you to go back and watch them first. Without any delay, let's begin. So, what exactly is this governance? When we talk about governance, it means we need to make our data secure, available, and accurate. And this is where Unity Catalog plays its vital role in Databricks. Now, Unity Catalog is first of all an open source, unified governance. Now, what exactly this unified means? This unified means you have to define it once and you can secure it everywhere. And that is where Unity Catalog is so popular in Databricks. It is used to govern everything in Databricks. So it is centralized and it provides security. It provides auditing. It provides lineage capability. It provides data discovery. And top of all, it is open source. So when we talk about open source, the code is available on GitHub. You can go ahead and check that out. Now, where exactly this Unity Catalog stands out? So without Unity Catalog, you have to manage each Databricks workspace individually. It means all the users, meta store, compute, and everything needs to be managed individually on each of the workspace. Now, with Unity Catalog, you can maintain everything from a single place. It means it gives you a centralized governance for all of your workspaces from a single place. Now, you have already seen the user management and meta store that we are using at the account level. So, once you can manage them at account level, you can enable or disable them for each of the workspaces from a central place, right? And this is what is the benefit is with Unity Catalog. Now, it is most important to understand the object model of Unity Catalog. So, you need to know how Unity Catalog manages its data and non-data objects. So, in the object model, the topmost is the meta store and it is used to maintain your metadata. Now, what exactly is metadata? Metadata is your data about data. It means it captures your schema, it captures your access control list, it captures your permissions and all sort of things, right? So, this metadata is usually stored on control plane. And the data for a meta store is stored at the data plane side. And this is the location that you define while defining a meta store, okay? So we'll see this when we enable our meta store for our workspace, right? Before that, you just need to know the metadata is stored at the control plane side and your data is stored at the location at your data plane side. Again, it is very important to know that for a single region, it is always advised to have only single meta store. It means one region should have one meta store. Okay. Now, below meta store, there are a lot of stuff. Now, the most important is the catalog. Now, catalog is the data securable object. And rest all are non-data securable object. It means catalog deals directly with your data. This all are to support your data. Those are non-data securable objects. Now, if you see from the left hand side, we have a lot of stuff. We have storage credentials, external location, share, recipient, provider, connection and clean rooms, right? We are not going to discuss all of them today. The most important one that we are going to discuss today is the catalog. Now, catalogs are basically used to maintain our data assets. Okay, it doesn't matter. The data asset can be a structured data or it can be unstructured or semi-structured data. But all the securable data assets would lie under catalog. Okay, the rest all whatever we discussed, right? Share, recipient, provider, connection, clean room, storage, credential or external location are used to maintain non-data securable objects. Okay, so all our data would lie under catalog. Now, following catalog, you can define schemas in order to maintain those into different schemas. Okay. We all know what exactly schema is used for. Okay. And in order to maintain structured data, you can use tables and views. So this is where all of your structured data can be maintained. Now, volumes are basically some file systems that can be used to maintain either structured data or unstructured data or semi-structured data. So you can use volumes in order to maintain any type of data. And this is some file system where your data would lie and you can use it to read and do your operations, whatever is required on the data. And this would also be governed by Unity Catalog. It means whatever files lie in the volume, permission for those files can be also managed through Unity Catalog. Okay. And we also have ML models, which can be governed using Unity Catalog permissions. Okay. Other than this, you can use functions. Now you can use functions to do some specific tasks and those functions will also be governed by Unity Catalog.
okay so this is how our data and non-data securable objects look like in object model in unity catalog now with the introduction of unity catalog we also use something which is called three namespace now what exactly this three namespace means three namespace means you have to define catalog schema and the table name in order to access it okay so consider if you have a table sales under catalog under some schema then you have to define it with three namespace so you can see this catalog dot schema name dot table name so if you have a catalog called dev and if you have a schema called branch and if you have a table called sales then your table name would be something like dev dot branch dot sales okay so you have to use three namespace for unity catalog and this is what has been introduced in unity catalog and this secures your data as per the catalog and the schema and the table that you use now we are going to look more into volumes models and functions later in this course for now you just need to know in order to access a unity catalog table you have to use something which is called three namespace it means catalog dot schema dot table name now coming back to the non securable data assets you don't need to worry about we are going to see this in length throughout the course so you don't have to worry about for now we will concentrate our effort in the data assets which is catalog schema and whatever is under schema which is either table view volume functions models we are going to talk later when we discuss about ml i hope this clarifies a lot of things for you today just to recap unity catalog is a unified governance in databricks which is open source and can be used to manage everything which is present in databricks okay so it is defined once and secure everywhere in our upcoming videos we are going to set up unity catalog for our workspace till then keep learning keep growing keep sharing